Hi everybody. Hello. Today we are looking at Ave Caesar. Ave Caesar. Up our straws are in, in regards to theme, being yep. Roman. Mm -hmm. This is a three to six players um, race game yeah. by Proludo. Big, big name. <laughs> um, yes, but we are reviewing this as a two player. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's a three to six player game, but there is you can play as a two player game. You just play more characters if you so like. So you're playing um, as a four. Yeah, that's really, right. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So uh, so the way the game plays, it's literally as Bear says, it's a it's a race game. You have a big. Um, this is based on the Circus Maximus in Rome, which is where they used to have all the chariot races. Excellent. And this is a chariot race. So basically, uh, there are six chariots, horses and, and chariots. Uh, you can play as three each if you're playing as a two-player game, but mm -hmm. or as two each. So we play this two each, mm -hmm. um, and you you basically race around the track. Um, it's literally like a roll and move, but it's not roll and move. It's using cards. Card and move. So yes. you've got a stack <laughs> of cards and you shuffle them up. Um, you reveal the top card just to get your positions one to to six or one to four in our case. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the highest card goes position one and so on because obviously the shorter inner circuit is quicker uh, to to race around. And then you basically, from your stack, your shuffled stack, you take three cards and they are your movement cards. Uh, and you may have one, three, and six, for instance. Mm -hmm. They range one to six, don't they? They range one to six, yeah, yeah. You can play any of those cards, except you cannot play a, a six if you're in the lead. Obviously, when you're on the starting yeah, track... <laughs> oh no, it's a, that's a leveller, that's good. Yeah, no, I'm um, saying it's a bit fair to go six if you're in the lead. <laughs> oh, I do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, although, of course, there are a limited number of sixes, so if you use all your sixes up, then you're just plodding along later yeah, on with one, ones and stuff. Yeah. One. Um, and that's the whole point of the game, it's kind of card management, but it's obviously dependent mm -hmm. on what you kind of get in your hand anyway. Mm -hmm. um, you can play a six from the get-go, from the starting line, but once you're in the lead, you cannot play a six if you're in the lead. But you can play a five, for instance. Um, and then there are certain sort of points around the track when there are bottlenecks because you cannot kind of hop over someone. You have to literally, mm. as if it's a real race, you have to pass them. Uh, on I do the like that, but you can other. use your tactics. Like if you've got a three and a one and you're one away from the bottleneck, yeah, you could just rather than one. going through as a three, go one yeah. and then they're all stuck behind you. Because if you cannot move the exact number of uh, movement on one of your cards, you have to miss a turn. So that's mm -hmm. quite neat, as you say. You can kind of just step one into the bottleneck. Everyone behind you can't move, or they can only move up to your tail. Uh, yeah. They can't move past you. That's really nice. So there's quite a few of those on uh, some of the tracks. Mm -hmm. It's a double-sided board, so you can kind of choose which track you use. Um, and that's basically it. You you race around a track three times. Um, during track, sorry, uh, lap. lap one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> during mm -hmm. lap one and two, you have to pull into the little sort of Caesar's Avenue. Um, Caesar is watching the Caesar, race. Yeah, Caesar's awesome. watching the race, and you have to use your denarii. You get a little denarii. And you have to pay him once per race, and you have to do it in lap one or lap two. So you have mm -hmm. to just pull off, like in the pits, if you like. Yes, yeah, um, like pit stop. Yeah. <laughs> you pull off it's actually into Caesar's <laughs> row, and you say "Ave Caesar," and you're supposed to sort of stand up, "Ave Caesar." Throw it's your not, coin. not that, is it? It's like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and, and he goes and like that, and yeah. then you get killed. <laughs> <laughs> and you throw your coin in uh, and pay him your your uh, denarii, and then you carry on the race. So that's a little bit again, like like you say, we're going in the pitch, you're sort of you're going mm. off of the sort of shortest route a little bit. Mm. So you have that's to. That's a do good that. for me. That's a good. That's a good theme thing yeah, to have. It's a nice yeah. thing, and it's fun. The point is, um, not so much when you're playing as a two player, you're kind of just sat here on your own. But when you're playing it as a sort of party game, mm, then you also six you know, you get, yeah, yeah, Caesar, and you make a big, big deal of it. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, then and you'll you wear togas as well, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Laurels, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the the idea is that you you race around three times, and the winner uh, it gets. Well, the idea is that you play three um, matches, three tournaments, three races, and three laps per yeah th tournament. Uh, yeah, so so basically, if the the first player wins six laurels, six points, the second over the line gets four, the third over the line gets two, and so on. The last one gets nothing, um, and. And then you race again, and you might come third and get two points. Mm. And then you race again, you might get nothing, or you get might win again. So the idea is you get a kind of, kind of a cumulative uh, total over three three races, mm -hmm. um, and and that's basically it. It's a race to to get around the track using your card mm -hmm. management slyly to block people, and also yeah. get out in front when you can, or choose a, a, a shorter route depending on the way that your cards are in your hand. Some of them as well, they've got like a stone wall between the two yeah, tracks to, to choose them, so you can't... Yeah, you have to on the inside or the outside. Yeah, you edge. can't switch, you have to stick like... And yeah. one side of the stone wall has like three separate spots, spaces, and, and one's just like got one, one yeah, so it's like exactly. one move rather than three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so it's a, like it. a sweet little game, very nice, works yeah. really well. Um, and that's a, that's the simplicity of it. It's mm -hmm. quite a good kind of party game, quite a good introductory game, mm. uh, and a quite a good race game, and the way that it plays and all that sort of stuff. The theming, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, so let's go for scores, because bear in mind, we played this as a two-player game, mm -hmm. uh, and we played it playing two characters each, or two chariots What do we each. think of it first, rather than okay, so, scores? Um, yeah, uh, I really like the sort of production value of it. It looks really nice. I obviously. do like the board, all the, imagery all the little stuff. people in the crowd and everything like the that. The chariots are really nicely yep. done, aren't they? And the really coins. Nice. Not just like a little cube or something. Yeah, and coin. we love Rome anyway as well. Yeah, so really nice theming, really nice production. Mm -hmm. um, as a two-player, <laughs> I'm, oh I'm doing a Caesar oh thumb dear. down. <laughs> uh, yeah, it didn't win me over. I, I've discovered I'm not a fan of race games. Well, yeah, that's that. Yeah, you don't really me. like the fact that it's a racing game because you're not really like, <laughs> into it. Yeah, I'm not really into it. And it's a shame because the Rome thing didn't really save it for me either. Mm. It's, it's, I like the theme. You may enjoy it more as a party game with your family. And yeah. in fact, I have taken it uh, two or three times to your family sort of when we're playing a bit of games like with the family. Not managed to get them to play it yet. Well, you take like a bundle and they always pick another one. Yeah, don't it was you? Yeah. So we haven't, we haven't actually played we could this try yet it. with them. But I think as a as a six player, literally when you're six, you're fighting over those slots and you're all kind of, oh, you yeah. blocked me. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of that take. That I do kind like of stuff. the blocking and like going to that it, bottleneck it bit. It doesn't and really translate the excitement of it to, to the well, two player. Well, I, 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 the main thing I get is like, oh, you do six and I go four. And you, it's just like I'm just following you around yeah, yeah. or and it's just. It's just I get it. Falls flat for me a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I get that. Uh, well, so Sorry. okay, so Sorry. let's score it then. Let's score it as a two-player game. Yeah. Um, it does say uh, three to six, doesn't it? So it, it kind of it probably knows it that it's not the best. Yeah, of well, the it, two. Is, it is a party game, really, isn't it? I think mm. it's a racing game. Mm. Um, as a two-player game, I will mark this as a five uh, out of mm -hmm. ten. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if I was if I was doing it as a party game, probably yeah. a seven. Seven and a half. Yeah, we'd have to play it as a party game and yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. I think as a two player game, it doesn't really work very well. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, but it's, yeah, it's a bit, as you say, it falls flat. Well, play it as a party game and add in the comments what we actually yeah, thought yeah, about yeah. it as a party game. Good point. For so me, what, I'm like four. Oh, dear. Sorry. Well, no, no, that's okay. really no, 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 you're right. I mean, that's <laughs> the whole point of this channel is that it's for two player games, isn't it? And yeah. so if, we've, if we play a game that allegedly plays well as two. I think it's just, it um, falls flat because it's. The two players doesn't really work as a two no player, excitement. and also it's and, and it's the race thing. I'm not sure if and you're racing two separate people, and and again in a way. So there were times when we were playing this that I was blocking myself purposely, and I'm thinking, why why, why am I blocking myself? Yeah. It's kind of it just felt a little bit kind of counterintuitive, I suppose. So and yeah, yeah, it just seemed a bit boring for me. Yeah, fair just, enough. Just going around a track. Fair enough. Well, there we are. So maybe it's, Ave a, maybe Caesar. it's a but my man thing. I don't know. Maybe maybe. Don't know. Ave Caesar as a two player. Nine. For Nine us. out of twenty. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. it's, it's got right. some scores. Not at least. Everything, not everything's going to be. It's not, gonna, it's not two at least. <laughs> True. But uh, yeah, we'll try and put in the comments once we play with the family. We'll try and put in the comments and yeah. see uh, if that if yeah. kind of brings it up a bit. I, I would think it would because it's that kind mm. of game. I think. But uh, yeah. Yeah. But the theme does work well. Yeah. But it's just. Doesn't work well as a two-player. Okay, not whatever. Two so, uh, sadly, nine out of ten for us. Let us know if you disagree. If you love it as a two-player, let us know. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, well, there you go. Uh, so, buy it maybe as a party game, but not as a two player game. That's our tip. Okay. Uh, Hail Caesar. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this one, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Yep, uh, check out any like of our uh, top 10s well. and things like that. Yeah, like and subscribe and ask us for some reviews. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye.